but your VIP group are those people that do want to hear about your business. They want to hear about your products. They want to hear more about you. So let's create as much activity as we can in a short period of time. This might look like you having a party sharing all of the new product releases that you have available on a Tuesday at six o'clock. And at Tuesday at six o'clock, between six and 6.30, you have 10 different posts scheduled in the group to create this flurry of activity. What that does is it creates momentum in the group and it also increases engagement and visibility in the group. So definitely think about different strategies that increase engagement and also have a burst of activity in a short period of time. here with Modern Direct Seller. I am thrilled you are back for part two of this series. We are chatting about ways to 2x your engagement in your Facebook VIP group. Now, if you joined us for part one, we talked about that Facebook groups are definitely not dead. And here in part two, we're diving in to strategies that are going to help you spark engagement in your group and really increase the engagement and connection with the followers that have joined your VIP customer group. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First off, let's just go ahead and say that I know that VAP groups have changed over the years. Now, back in the day, we could very easily just make a post in a Facebook group and organically get a lot of conversation started. That was the old way the algorithm was really favoring VAP groups. And now here we are today, and we're having to work a little bit harder to get that engagement. Now, as I shared in the last video, I'm a firm believer that VAP groups on Facebook are still a very profitable place to hang out. And I also still believe that as a direct seller, having a customer VAP group is an amazing way to connect in with your customers. So now that they're there, now that we have people in this group that we've created, we're committed, we're showing up, let's talk about ways to increase that engagement, to create more conversation in those groups. So the first thing I want to challenge you to do is to get them talking. And I know that's a no brainer, right? We want to get them talking pretty much about anything. And I know this is counterintuitive because we're thinking, hey, they joined my group to learn about my products and my business. I should be sharing about my products and my business, right? But actually, we want to get them talking about anything. We want to get them connecting. We want to hear from them what their favorite seasonal activities are. We want them to tell us if they like this or that. We want to know where they live. We want to know about their family. We want to know their Starbucks order. It doesn't really matter what we're getting them talking about. We just want engagement and conversation happening in that group because the more engagement, the more conversation happening in the group, the more visibility the posts are going to get in the group. So when it's time to talk about the product in the business, because that's going to happen too, we want to make sure that people are there for it and they're seeing our posts. The data out there on Facebook is pretty sad when you think about it. When you make a great post, less than 5% of your audience is actually seeing those posts you make. Now, if you have a highly engaging VIP group, those numbers numbers definitely go up. But we want to make sure that when we're creating content, we're putting work into it, we want to make sure it's getting the most visibility as possible. And that's why engagement posts and kind of fun things in between the business is going to be really, really important. All right, tip number two, we want to create a flurry of activity in our group. And what I mean by a flurry of activity is a series of posts in a short period of time. Some people might call this an online party, but your VIP group are those people that do want to hear about your business. They want to hear about your products. They want to hear more about you. 
So let's create as much activity as we can in a short period of time. This might look like you having a party sharing all of the new product releases that you have available on a Tuesday at six o'clock. And at Tuesday at six o'clock, between six and 6.30, you have 10 different posts scheduled in the group to create this flurry of activity. What that does is it creates momentum in the group and it also increases engagement and visibility in the group. So definitely think about different strategies that increase engagement and also have a burst of activity in a short period of time. Another strategy that I highly recommend in order to boost your engagement in your group is leveraging what we call permalinks. Now, a permalink is the timestamp on a post that gives you a unique URL. That unique URL takes people directly to that post. You're able to use permalinks in emails that you're sending, in blog posts that you're making, in other social media channels to drive traffic back to that post. Specifically, this works really well if you're messaging somebody in your group and saying, hey, make sure that you check this out. I did not want you to miss it. So make sure that you're leveraging permalinks and leading people back to your group. You can kind of consider that your breadcrumbs to take people back into the group. All right, number four is starting a side chat over a text or a DM or a PM, right? The idea here is taking it from a one-to-many conversation to a one-to-one -one conversation. Now, you've probably noticed that if you're having a direct conversation with someone on social media, you start seeing more of their posts popping about. So when you're proactively having conversations with those people that are in your VIP group, they're going to see a little bit more of you than they would have otherwise. Not to mention, it's a great way to build relationships and connect in with your customers. So think about how you can have those side conversations. And if those side conversations aren't happening online on social media, you can definitely have those conversations via a text message as well. That's always a great idea to make sure that you have their contact information and you can reach out to them directly. Another tool that I really love here, and here's a little bonus tip for you, is to leverage m.me slash your username. And you can find that by going to your business page profile or your personal profile on Facebook. When you share that link, your customers can message you directly. So rather than you chasing them down, you can invite them to message you. That's another great way to get that conversation started. Maybe they need to message you the answer to a riddle that you posted or a prize to be entered or just to say hello. You can have a call to action for them to message you directly using that short link m.me slash your username. Another tip to boost some engagement over in your group is rewarding your top contributors and your biggest fans. Now, when you go into your Facebook group and you look at your analytics, you're able to see who those top contributors are in your group. Maybe you're shouting them out, giving them a little bit of recognition every month, or maybe you're dropping a little happy mail in the mail for them to get them excited and thank them for participating in your group. This is something that you can advertise or you can kind of keep it a little bit of a surprise, but you know that those customers are going to feel so appreciated when they hear from you and they see that they were one of the top contributors to your group. You can parallel this over on your Facebook business page as well as there are badges now available for your top fans. So another idea here is to mix up your posts. So when you think about sparking engagement, boosting engagement in your Facebook group, if you're only posting pictures, right, a single image, that gets a little boring. So make sure you're mixing it up. You're doing polls, you're sharing live videos, you're sharing pre-recorded videos. Maybe you have a carousel post with multiple images. You have lots of options of how you post in your group. One of the most effective ways that I have seen posts getting the most visibility these days are the simple posts with a colored background and a bigger font. So you have to keep your posts much shorter and sweeter, but I'm seeing a lot more of those popping into my feed on the regular. Another tip here is to ask for a little help from your friends. Now, I know this one, we walk a fine line. We don't want to go beg people to comment on our posts, but if you're part of a larger team or if you have a, a small group of kind of biz besties or accountability buddies that are cheering each other on, go comment on each other's posts. Give each other a little bit of love. Sometimes you just need that one person to comment to really spark the conversation and get others chatting. So help out your friends and you can ask them to help you out as well, especially if there's a post that you 
really want to drive a lot of traffic to you because hey, will you do me a favor and just go leave me a little bit of love over on this post? On the flip side, another tip is to leave some love on your followers post. So this isn't a one way street here. The more that you engage with them, the more they're going to engage back with you. So don't be shy about leaving comments on their photos or sending them a direct message or cheering them on if they sell a product in their own business as well. So think about how you can not only get a little bit of love, but give that love back. And I promise it will be returned to you tenfold. Last couple of tips here when we think about 2 xing our engagement over in our VAP group, one of which is to make it personal, right? Everyone wants to hear that personal story. Everyone wants to see a picture of you posing with your favorite cup, whatever it might be. The more you're engaging and making it personal and about you, the more you're going to get interaction from your followers. I know that your company puts together beautifully crafted corporate graphics for you. And those are amazing. Yet you've seen it. I've seen it. We've all seen it. When you post a picture of yourself with something, even just for fun, kind of on the fly, it usually gives more engagement than that corporate graphic. So think about how you can insert yourself and your story and your personal brand in everything that you're doing over in that group. The last idea I have for you, which is probably something you've tried before, is to run a contest or a giveaway. If all else fails, let's give something away. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a lot, but we know people love giveaways, they love prizes, they love deals. Maybe even it is you just messaging them and letting them know they get free shipping on their next order, or they get a free gift with a purchase of $40 or more. You can decide what that promotion or that deal or that special or that prize looks like for them, but definitely think about different ways you can work that into your plan on the regular because that is almost a guarantee to boost up that engagement. So there you have it. That is more than 10. That's a lot of strategies right there for you to really 2x your engagement in your VAP customer group on Facebook to keep people chatting, keep people connecting keep that engagement high. I hope you found these tips valuable. If you did, of course, like and subscribe and make sure you join us for part three of this video series as we next are going to talk about profitable ways to grow the membership of your group. So another great way to boost engagement is bringing new people into your group. So if you're feeling like your group is a bit stagnant or a little bit small, we're going to talk about strategies on how to grow your group over in video three. I look forward to seeing you there. Until next time, let's make it a great day. Take care.